These are Asian elephants. They're found in a variety of range countries, including Thailand, Vietnam. There's very few left in China. So Asian elephants, when they're born, weigh on average about 250 to 300 pounds. And then a female is going to weigh at about six to 8,000 pounds when she's at her full size, and a male about 10 to 12,000. So they tend to be a little bit smaller than African elephants, but still pretty big. So elephants are always going to be in a female group led by a single matriarch. She's typically going to be the largest and oldest female in that group. Males actually get kicked out of the herd by females when they hit puberty. And the matriarch is going to be responsible in the wild for helping raise the babies, helping mothers go through birth, helping discipline those babies, and lead the herd back to places where they found food in the past or water. Elephants have a really big reputation for never forgetting, and that's close to true. They have a really good memory because the matriarch will actually be the elephant to lead females or the whole herd back to watering holes that she knew as a young baby. There's a few ways that you can tell an Asian elephant from an African. A lot of people think of those large ivory tusks and they think elephants, and that's true of African elephants, but for Asians, you're gonna notice those are only on our male elephants. So you can see them um, on the small all the way through the large, but Asian females won't have any. They are gonna have small ivory projections called tushes. Those just never really extend pa past that front lip. You'll also notice that Asian elephants have a lot of pink on their face, their trunk, and their ears as they get older. It's a lot like a human going gray. So essentially, the older an Asian elephant is, the more pink its face will be. There's a few other characteristics of the body that you can tell it's an Asian. On the uh, end of their trunk, they're going to have one finger-like projection that we actually call a finger. And the bottom there is going to be a palm. They're also going to have a very uh, convex head, uh, two domes on the top of that head as opposed to concave, and their back is going to come out um, a lot more convex than an African elephant's would. So one other significant difference between Africans and Asians is that Asian elephants are actually much more endangered. So we think there's about 500,000 African elephants left in the wild, but only 30 to 35,000 Asian elephants. And that's going to be primarily due to habitat loss and then resulting human conflict.